Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be learning how to use the general power rule to find the derivative of a... Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be using the general power rule to figure out how to find the derivative of a function. Now you'll notice that this rule is very similar to the chain rule. In fact, it's pretty much exactly the same. However, the chain rule is just more universal because you can use it in more ways. But let's go ahead and learn the general power rule. Alright, so the general power rule is very similar to the chain rule. The chain rule is just a little bit more universal, as I said in the introduction to this video. But um, I always believe an example is better than words, so I'll go ahead and start out with the function f of x is equal to 3x minus 2x squared cubed. So that's our original function. Now, here's where the, the general power rule and the chain rule are similar. You take the derivative of the outside function, multiply it times the inside function, and multiply it times the derivative of the inside function. So here, we would have the derivative equals, and then we would, I'll show you how to do this. So you start, you have 3x minus 2x squared, and all of that cubed. So first you would use the power rule instead of actually cubing 3x minus 2x squared. So to use the power rule, we'd bring 3 over here, so it'd become 3 parentheses, 3x minus 2x squared, and just like you always do with the power rule, you subtract 1 from the original exponent and you get 2. So that is taking the derivative of the, out, of the outer function and multiplying it by the inside function. And then, the next step would be to multiply that times the derivative of the inside function, which is 3x minus 2x squared. And you can use the power rule for that as well, first with 3x, and the derivative of 3x is just 3 and then minus 2x squared, the power rule, so 2 times 2 is 4, so you get 4 times x, and then subtract 1 from the original exponent, would get just 4x to the 1, which is the same as 4x, and that is the derivative of this function. And that's how the general power rule works. And if you go and look at the chain rule video, you'll see just how similar these two ways of taking the derivative are. Well, that's how you use the general power rule to find the derivative of a function. I hope you enjoyed learning how to use this rule, and I hope you understand it after watching this video. Now go ahead and take a look at some of the other videos I've made in order to find out how to take the derivative of a function. I will see you next time.